Are you ready to explore the world of Police Squad? Get ready for a wild ride of comedy, surprises, and a hint of sadness. This 1982 TV series is full of humor and crime-solving action, brought to you by the creators of Airplane. What qualities do you think make this TV series stand out in the industry? Well, for starters, its deadpan delivery and clever wordplay have kept audiences laughing for years. But it's not just about laughs. The show also breaks new ground with its inventive storytelling and unexpected turns. But let's not just talk about it, let the show do the talking. Keep watching to discover the many funny, surprising, and even touching moments of Police Squad. You won't be disappointed. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your fondest memory or personal experience with this series? Share your stories and thoughts in the comments below. Let's keep the laughs going. In a review of Police Squad, one viewer found the series to be extremely hilarious, especially after having seen the Naked Gun films. They expressed a preference for the series over the films, citing its ability to consistently deliver puns, sight gags, and funny situations. Despite having prior knowledge of some jokes from the films, the viewer found themselves glued to the television set, laughing harder than ever before. They acknowledged the limited production of only six episodes and speculated that maintaining such high comedic quality would have been challenging for the writers. Overall, they recommended the series for those who enjoy puns, bad jokes, and slapstick sight gags. Another reviewer pointed out that Police Squad was based on the 1957 to 1960 NBC cop Show M Squad starring Lee Marvin. They were surprised that this connection hadn't been mentioned in other reviews, noting similarities such as the introductory scenes and narration style. The reviewer highlighted specific parallels between characters and plot lines in both series, indicating a clear influence from M Squad on Police Squad. Police Squad was a TV series that aired in 1982. Despite its short run of six episodes, it left a lasting impact. When the ABC TV network canceled the series, the entertainment president claimed viewers needed to watch it to appreciate it, a statement criticized by TV Guide. However, the producers were relieved, feeling they were running out of material. The series later continued as the Naked Gun film series with a less demanding production schedule. Amick's rerun of the series omitted a joke from the introduction. John Belushi filmed a cameo for the final episode, but after his death, William Conrad replaced him. The series may have been short-lived, but its humor and style endured, paving the way for future comedic productions. Police Squad was a TV series from 1982. It spoofed M Squad, a show starring Lee Marvin as Lieutenant Frank Ballinger. The opening credits, theme song, and the character Lieutenant Frank Drebin were all spoofs of M Squad. George Stanford Brown guest starred in Episode 2, but was immediately killed. He then directed Episode 3. Interestingly, each episode had two titles, with the voiceover narration never matching the on-screen title. That's the essence of Police Squad. Police Squad was a 1982 TV series. In the Naked Gun film franchise, Peter Lupus was replaced by O.J. Simpson, while Alan North was replaced by George Kennedy. The episodes concluded with a mock freeze frame where characters stood as still as possible. One notable freeze frame showed a character pouring coffee, which overflowed as they remained motionless. In another episode, an arrestee tried to escape the squad room while others stayed still. In an interview on the Nerdist podcast, David Zucker, Jim Abrahams, and Jerry Zucker revealed that Robert Stack was their original choice for Frank Drebin, but he declined. Leslie Nielsen became their second choice. Police Squad aired in 1982 as a comedy series. Leslie Nielsen, a key figure in the show, later made an appearance on Noel's House Party in 1994, where he and host Noel Edmonds recreated the iconic freeze frame used in the series' closing credits. Produced by Paramount Television, the show parodied Quinn Martin's library extensively. Despite Abick's request for a laugh track, creators David Zucker, Jim Abrahams, and Jerry Zucker stood firm against the idea. These elements contributed to the unique comedic style of Police Squad. Police Squad was a television series known for its unique humor and innovative gags, one of which included a character named Al, portrayed by Tiny Ron. This character was so tall that his head never appeared on camera, and his role was simply to stand there without doing anything. Despite its brief run, the show left a lasting impression, not least because of its distinctive comedic style. 
Leslie Nielsen, Ed Williams, and Tiny Ron were the only three cast members who appeared in all six episodes of the series and continued their roles into the Naked Gun film franchise, showcasing their pivotal roles in the transition from TV to film. Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons and a fan of the series, expressed his understanding of why the network canceled it after just a handful of episodes. He suggested that the show was ahead of its time, stating that the average viewer in the early 1980s struggled with the fast-paced and rapid-fire jokes of the series. Groening believed that if the show had been produced two decades later, it would have been more successful as audiences would have been better equipped to appreciate its humor. This viewpoint is supported by the fact that, at the time of its airing, technology such as VCRS was not widely available, making it difficult for viewers to re-watch episodes and catch all the subtle humor and visual gags. In summary, Police Squad remains a memorable series for its unique approach to comedy and its influence on future works, despite its short lifespan on television. The show's legacy continues to be appreciated by fans and critics alike, who recognize its contribution to the genre of comedic television. Police Squad aired in 1982 and featured Frank Drebin, whose rank was often intentionally misused, adding humor to the show. He might introduce himself as Lieutenant Drebin, only to be called Captain Drebin by others. This playful inconsistency was a trademark of the creators, the Abrahams and Zucker Brothers team. In the 1990s, Leslie Nielsen reprised his role as Frank Drebin in Red Rock Draft Cider ads, which parodied the show. Additionally, Dick Clark, known for his appearances in various TV series, including Perry Mason and Honey West, appeared in the final episodes of Police Squad, adding to its star-studded lineup. Police Squad aired weekly in 1982. Each episode featured Johnny, the shoeshine boy, meeting with different individuals such as Dick Clark, Joyce Brothers, and Tommy Lasorda, sharing obscure yet valuable information. At the end of each episode, freeze frames humorously mocked other TV show's endings. Detective Drebin, a recurring character, habitually offered cigarettes to which recipients responded acknowledging their awareness. This distinctive pattern characterized the show's humor and style. Police Squad aired in 1982 and quickly became known for its unique humor and clever gags. In the show Drebin, the main character played by Leslie Nielsen, would often list criminals caught in previous episodes. However, due to episodes airing out of order, this joke sometimes fell flat. The order of production was 1, 2, 5, 4, 3, and 6. Nielsen, known for his role as Drebin, came from a family with a background in law enforcement. His father served in the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. A notable quirk in the show was the door to the police squad room, with police spelled backward on one side and squad spelled backward on the other, creating a humorous confusion. Despite its short run, Police Squad left a lasting impression with its unique brand of comedy and memorable characters. In 1982, a TV series called Police Squad aired, but it only lasted six episodes. Despite its short run, it gained a loyal following and became a cult favorite. The opening sequence was notable for featuring special guest stars who were humorously killed off before appearing in any episodes. One of these guests, Robert Goulet, later appeared in The Naked Gun to The Smell of Fear, a movie based on the show. At first, Police Squad struggled to find many viewers because of its limited episodes. But after The Naked Gun movie became a hit, more people became interested. Some TV channels in the UK even aired the series late at night in the late 1980s. In the first four episodes, there was a funny running gag where Detective Drebin would accidentally run over a certain number of objects, matching the episode number. However, this joke wasn't in the last two episodes. Despite its short run, Police Squad is still remembered as an important and influential comedy series. Police Squad a TV series from 1982 laid the groundwork for the iconic The Naked Gun film franchise. The show's humor was recycled in the movies, creating a lasting legacy. The character Al, a towering detective with a head that never quite made it into the shot, stood at an imposing seven feet tall. Portrayed by Tiny Ron, he carved out a prolific film career specializing in physically imposing tough guy roles. Week after week, Police Squad showcased a special guest star meeting a comically grim fate during the opening credits. Lorne Green and William Conrad met their demise by knives and car ejections, respectively. George Stanford Brown had a safe dropped on him, while Florence Henderson was shot during a musical number. 
Robert Goulet faced a firing squad, and William Shatner dodged machine gunfire before sipping poisoned wine. The series' comedic genius, coupled with memorable characters and inventive deaths, set the stage for the later success of the Naked Gun films, solidifying its place in comedy history.